This episode is brought to you by Hims. Tom, should I wear a hat or not wear a hat? No, I have so much hair. I just don't want to get. I think that you could have been a great candidate for what Hims does about 25 to 30 years ago when you started thinning. As a matter of fact, Tom, I did get in front of that train. You know, 66% of the men lose their hair by the age of 35. Uh, Wait, how old are you, Tom? Well, the thing is, this is a choice. <laughs> I. I know I have a beautifully shaped head, so I go for the buzz look myself, Bruce Willis, other stars. But Jason Statham? Yes. <laughs> we choose to do this. Now, guys like you, you know, you, when you're too far gone, it's like you really can't go backwards. But guys that are watching and listening to the show, you actually have the opportunity to do something about it by going to forhims.com, the one stop shop for hair loss, skincare, and sexual wellness. For men, how's everything down here? It's Feels okay. Good. All it's right. okay. I did get in front of my hair loss. I've been on hair thinning products for my entire life, and I still have some hair. I can cheat it when I do movies. But <laughs> those, <laughs> these aren't snake oil pills or gas station counter supplements. These are just like for hims, they are licensed physician and FDA approved products that help treat hair loss. Prescription solutions backed by science. Hims was created by a guy who knows some health, men health conversations are easier to have online than in person. Yeah, just do it online. No awkward doctor, doctor visit. You just answer a few quick questions and then you can get that prescription treatment shipped right to your door. You should order now, our listeners can get started with the Hims Complete Hair Kit for just $5 today, That's good. right now, while supplies last and subject to doctor's approval. See website for full details. This would cost hundreds. I'm not kidding you. <laughs> if you went to a doctor or pharmacy somewhere else, it would cost hundreds of dollars to go to forhimscom slash bears. That's F-O-R-H-I-M-S dot com slash bears. Forhim.com slash bears. Bears, see website for full details and safety information. This episode of Two Bears, One Cave is also brought to you by Sattva Luxury Mattress, uh, the only online mattress company that provides free delivery, setup, and mattress removal. They have amazing mattresses. You should invest in sleeping well and comfortably. It's the one thing that you just have the choice to do something about sleeping on a shitty mattress is the worst. I've done that my entire life. It's it's terrible, man. It sucks. And then I have a body imprint in the mattress, and I just, I am, I'm dying to get my Sattva mattress. Okay, they're going to send you, you're going to actually have a choice. You can actually get the Sattva Luxury Firm mattress. This is like you find in a nice hotel. Or oh. if you want a memory foam mattress, they have another line called Loom and Leaf. You can get one of those. I'm getting the luxury one. All right. It's, it's all set up. You're going to get it. You're going to love it. Environmentally friendly products, amazing customer support, and mattress takeaway service. So you don't, like when you're done with your mattress and you leave it in your front yard like a piece of trash, <laughs> like those type of garbage people do that. You don't have to do that with Sat. We did that actually, with ours one time and our, and our, <laughs> we put it in our back alley oh. and our, but our, no, but our, our gardener was like, leave it in the back alley. Trust me, someone will get it. And we were like, okay. So we put it in our back alley and then it was gone. He took it. He didn't want to be the one. He, was, he took it. Okay. Well, don't be like Bert and put it in your back alley. Just tell Sattva, I'd like to get this thing out of here. <laughs> so go to Sattva, S-A-A-T-V-A mattress.com. Or if you want memory foam, Loom and Leaf, L-O-O-M and Leaf. Thank you, Sattva. You don't want the people <laughs> in Hong Kong to keep democracy alive? So... Welcome to another episode of Two Bears, One K. Do you realize I was in the car thinking of the one I'd do to you, and I get, but you caught me so fucking off guard. You're like, you, and I was like, <laughs> are we starting? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I mean, if you want China to just demolish those people, it's fine. But here's the thing, man. Um, you, know, you know for a fact I actually do not know what's going on. <laughs> of course, of course I know that. <laughs> Oh, God. You know, it's almost, I feel, okay, so I got to tell you, man, I feel a little guilty. So, I, you know, you put out this dance video, and it went viral. Yeah. And, um, you know, I, I said some really nasty, ugly, horrible, reprehensible, just vitriolic type of things about you. Jealousy brings out the worst in all of us. Yeah. I wanted, I wanted to actually take a moment <laughs> yeah. to tell you 
that I don't feel badly at all about <laughs> anything I said. Um, no, you have a you have a a great new dance video. You know what I was thinking though, by the way, what, what? I was upset that the only thing that I was like, what the fuck did? If you would have told me that you were setting it up, yeah. we could have released them at the same time. Oh yeah, but I think I think I well, first of all, I I when I when I pitched it to uh, Sober October crew. And everyone shot it down. I was like, eh, I just, didn't shoot it down. I, I said know, but, I was down. But I, I know, but I was like, I'll just do it by myself. And then I was like, it was easier for me to control doing it by myself. And I had added a bunch of shows on the Body Shots World Tour. Go to burpburpburt.com. <laughs> and um, and by the way, while you're at burpburpburt.com, get yourself a Mickey Mantle jean t-shirt. Limited edition. Limited edition. I am only... If you sign up for one and buy one, you will get one. I am not putting them out to release. What um, Do you have to talk to like his estate to like license something like that? You know, they've been pretty cool. <laughs> they've been pretty cool so far. The uh, <laughs> I haven't really checked into that. I might have to call like, Mickey different. <laughs> you know, it's a notable figure, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, I'm selling Air Jordan shit at TomSegura.com if you want to give it a shot. Oh, I did not even think about that at all. <laughs> Check the Z Burp. Go to BurpBurp.com and see if you can get one. We may not be selling these. I should run this by my Dude, lawyer, huh? This comes out Monday and Tuesday. You're getting a letter. I promise, you, I promise you. Dear Mr. Kreischer, I am Dolores Mantle. <laughs> This is called a cease and desist. A cease and desist. <laughs> it's like when we made that. Do you remember we tried to make that uh, Burt Reynolds? That, how does that not occur to you? I didn't even think about it. I really? made these by myself. I made them. I was on uh, Custom Ink and I was like messing around with the thing and I made one and I was like, I was I made a body shots thing and I was like, fine, I'm done. With, I'm done trying to sell shirts for that. I already have shirts on the road. And I was like, oh, I'll do a Mickey Mantle jean. And I did this. You're a dick. You think I can it. just pull, like, I can sell it. It says Wayne Gretzky. So, I mean, like, people are like, I can be like, that's a cool shirt, man. I didn't even think <laughs> is about is that. Wayne involved? No. I just put his name on shirts and I sell them. <laughs> hey, see, see who is alive in Mickey Mantle's li family. <laughs> just Google Mickey Mantle uh, descendants. Come on, come on, Mick. There's definitely an estate. Oh, no, there's a bunch yeah. of them. Oh yeah, David, Danny, Billy, Mickey. Mickey oh my Jr. God, there's fucking a Mickey Mantle Jr. Of course, I am fucked. They're not even old. No, no, dude. Oh my God, this is by the way. This is the dumbest thing I've ever fucking done it's, in my life. It's up there, and <laughs> it's that's saying something. And it's the most Bert thing that you could do. You didn't even like. I thought you were gonna change the spelling or something. <laughs> You're talking about the third most famous baseball player of all time. <laughs> His son's 47? Yeah. His son's my age. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, he's dead. Oh. Mickey Jr.'s dead. You're good there. Oh, good. <laughs> he died of liver cancer. Um, Are you serious? Yeah, that's what it says. Oh, oh no, no. The father died of liver but yeah. it says that the son Wait, died. Wait, Mickey Mantle died of liver cancer? And Billy Mantle's dead, too. This is a really right? sad way. Come on, David. Come on, David. The, uh, no. He's, He's alive. Still alive. 63. Okay. He's definitely on top of shit. He, he has memorabilia, like, fucking books about. He's, he's hitting you up on he's Tuesday. He's got memorabilia. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it was good. You guys, there's a limited edition. There's, I made one. <laughs> I have one shirt. Go to customink.com and you can make your own Mickey Mantle shirt. This is too fucking oh, great. Oh fuck! See, that's that's why if I I think that's why I didn't pass this course, off. Of course, of course, you don't know what's going on in Hong Kong. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Yeah, I I really didn't think that through. Yeah, it's great. See if Babe Ruth got any living relatives. <laughs> <laughs> Babe Ruth, do Babe Ruth descendants? Yeah, and let's see, because then maybe I'll change it to the Babe Ruth gene. Dolores. She's dead. 89. Nice. Juanita. Yeah, but you also have to think about their estates. They have yeah, like... Yeah, but do you think anyone care? Oh, yeah, I guess they probably Yeah, do. yeah, yeah, because it makes money. Yeah, but the, you know, credit or credit, not credit cards, um, baseball trading cards don't make money the way they used to. But they, you know they're, taking, they're making a comeback. No. Yeah, they are. No, they're not. They're I on just, the upswing right now. Just, Stu Stone has a documentary how they're just worthless. I, but they're... they're there's a, like a nostalgia thing that's starting to boom right now. I think that's the... Um, I think that's Antifa trying to get Trump unelected. Okay. 
So, um, let's go back to the dance thing. Dance video. So yeah, let's do something. Let's talk about my successes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you, it's very ambitious. We, we had talked about Sober October being a hip-hop dance-off. And what happened was we sat around people. I mean, I, I remember saying, if we, we could look it up, but I remember being like, I'm down. I'll, I'll do it. Do you realize then, how, now do you realize how, I mean, how huge that would have been? If, if we, we had, had done that? If we had done hip-hop oh, yeah. dance? Yeah, that I mean. Would have gone, that would have been, I mean, I don't even, like, People joke whenever you have anything that goes counter counter file that you get a couple tweets that are like, "Oh, you just broke the internet." We would have broken the internet if we had done hip hop. Did you think? Let me let me point this out. So you made this video. Um, I didn't think anyone was going to see it. Did you? Yeah, did you think it would be like a thousand? Whatever. I thought it would get one hundred twenty thousand views on Instagram. Uh -huh. I actually said to Leanne when I posted it, I went, I look at it because you can track. I can track it an Instagram post and go, um, within. It should track by the thousands per minute up to ten thousand up to up to ten minutes, but if it leaps at ten minutes past ten thousand, then mm. you're doing then I'm tracking well. Mm. And I posted it, and it was like four minutes in, it had three thousand views, and I was like, oh. like oh. I was like, yeah, you know what? But all I wanted to do is post a video to sell some tickets for the Body Shots World Tour. If you go to burp, burp, burp .com, you Wait, get your tickets. This, this, your tour is a huge success. I know, but I, but I added a bunch of shows, and I wanted to, and I got panicked because the tour starts in like a week, and I was like, I want to make sure that like I had a second show in LA. I was like, I wanted isn't it to, kind of funny though? Kind of funny that a video of you dancing like that makes makes somebody go, I'd like to see this guy talk for a while. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I'm shocked. I'm so shocked at so many. things of the responses yeah like the first text i got was delia like i posted it yeah three minutes later delia texted me he was like oh my fucking god and i'm like did i talk shit about him on a podcast <laughs> and then i was like and he was like that video kills me and then joe coy texted and then a, the text started coming in and i was like oh i was like maybe this will be good and then people started going like bert you have moves and i was like huh? that's what started to piss me off that's what i was like i was like yeah that's yeah and they're like and people would be like now i know why like i think even uh, Ari was like, now I know why you wanted to do this. You're a ringer. And I was like, pull up Ari's tweet. He retweeted it. I think it's something about his dick getting hard. But Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, Is he not shadow banned? <laughs> he is shadow banned. By the way, he doesn't come up on anything. What does it say? No wonder Burt Kreischer wants to do the gents. He's yeah, already amazing, amazing at it. it. That's Ari. That's the awesome. most cynical fucking human being yeah. in the world. Yeah. I'm so fucking hard right now. Thank you to everyone who retweeted it because that... The, how many retweets did the video get? It got a lot of retweets. Oh my god, dude! Oh my god, twenty three thousand retweets and a hundred thousand likes. Yeah, it's and, and four million views right now. About yeah, about four million views. Yeah. Fuck, it's um, man. but that chick Delaney Glazer. Remember, I talked about her on yes. Joe's podcast. Yeah. She's just awesome because she just was like, like just went in. All right. All right. So by the way, I was like, I was, yesterday we watched it a few times, and I was like, I go, yeah, this this is actually like that's that's not bad, right? Yeah. But um, hold on. Yeah, I mean I'm okay with this. That's because that's some bullshit right there. And then what's that, that move? That that thing's the, what's that? What's that? Fucking <laughs> thing? What is that? <laughs> I knew these pants were coming off. You by knew the way. it, of course. <laughs> I knew. I knew you were taunting us. The best is is uh, when people like people have sent me videos of their kids watching it. Yeah, and they're like. The part where the pants come off, the kids lose their mind because kids are the only people that didn't know the pants were coming off. Kids are like, "Shut the fuck up!" And so, uh, and so, my, my cowhead sent me a picture, a video of his kids watching it. And when the pants went off, they lost their mind. I was like, "Oh yeah," but uh, yeah, I'm I'm I'm, blown, I'm shocked that it did this well. I, I didn't expect it to do this well at all. But so it's the biggest video I've ever put on on Instagram, and it's the biggest video I've ever put on um, on Twitter. Yeah, that's crazy, man. I remember I remember too when you had a. Uh... When you did the the the, uh, the machine special, yeah, and you were like, um, I don't remember if you expected it either. You're like, oh, you know that machine story went viral. I was like, really? And you're like, oh, yeah. no, it has like eighty million people. I'm like, wait, what, dude? I, when we did when we did the fat challenge thing, I, and we went, we were going in Rogan three days in a row. I, I remember telling to you like, it's got like three million views, four million views. And the next day, I was like seven million views. And then I was like, dude, it's a twenty million view, and it just. That viral shit is insane. Yeah. And that makes no sense to me because I, I was shocked anyone. I was like, I told that story to me so many times. I'm shocked anyone watched it, let alone sat through 13 minutes to watch long, it. Long thing to watch. Yeah. And I'm shocked anyone fucking watched that. People were like, oh, this, this is exactly what I needed today. I was like. Well, I'll tell you this because I should probably just say it now. 
because I got you know I got a lot I got a lot of shit for for <laughs> for talking shit about your video. Oh, immediately everyone's like, uh, "Is Tom doing a challenge? Is Tom coming back at it? Is Tom doing it shirtless?" Is and I was like, "I I don't know. You got to run that by Tom." Um. So just just to put it out there, I uh, <sighs> I, I meet with a choreographer on Saturday, <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, I'm. You know, the, the plan is to. Tr I'm trying to do it in a timely. You know what I mean? It did we, timely. I I had two lessons. Yeah, and then I did it. Okay. You so, saw that? Did you see the? Uh, I don't. I don't practice. I montage video. I saw a clip with of the, you with practicing. Kevin. Yeah. yeah. Kevin Bacon. The best is fucking <laughs> yeah. Sickler, put together, a remix. Uh -huh. What did he put on there? I don't. I don't know what he put. I on. can fight. Uka chaka. Uka 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 chaka. And you hold me. Oh, here's you practicing. Yeah, this is us practicing. That's great. That's great. But so, Sickler did a remix, and then all of a sudden, everyone started sending in remixes. And I woke up, and I tweeted it last night. I was like, please send me remixes. By the way, if you have a remix of a good song with this training, and you know that it's the one that you aren't thinking, that someone out there is like, oh, this is going to be perfect. Someone's like, uh, but the best one I've seen so far is the SVU. Theme song. Dun dun, like dun, 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 that's a, dun. What's it called? Bow, 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 bow. That's a uh, Law and Order. Yeah, Law and Order. That's yeah. it. Um, all right, man. Well, that's great, and um, I hope that I can't wait for your video. What What's our timeline on this so people can expect? Well, it? It, you can thing. get it done in a week. But just I did it in a week. Okay, just let me. Let How me be, serious are you taking these dance lessons? Let me. Let me. Let me just look. Like fly out. These are all. In a row, out of towns. Holy shit. That, that's what Wait, I'm saying. What are you playing Los Angeles? Uh, 20th and 21st. Of what month? Of September. This, of, yeah. Me too. I'm playing like a week, two weeks before you. What, where are you at? The Orpheum. Oh. Where are you? The Ace Hotel. It's a little the smaller. Same. Mm -hmm, whatever. Mine has hotel next to it, not the Orpheum. Uh, are you doing two nights? Two shows, yeah. Yeah, that's, so it's the same thing, man. Yeah, the, um, what, uh. You you need to get this put out because I am oh. so excited to see you dance. Do you have any idea what song you're thinking of? No, none. Do you have none. any idea wardrobe? None. Okay, can I'm, I give you some hints? Sure. A ponytail would be really cool. Like if you had a ponytail. That's actually a ponytails. Good idea. Ponytails sell dance videos. When you watch girls flip around their ponytail. Yeah. That's a good idea. Actually. I mean, if I had a hat with like a built-in ponytail. If you came in DJ Dadmouth. And then lost the outfit. Yeah. And you had something sleek but bouncy. Yeah. I mean, wardrobe really sells it. No, you're right. You're right. That's a good idea. Are you thinking shirtless or with a shirt? Yeah, most of my shit I do is shirtless. <laughs> like, I do my specials and my spots and my videos shirtless. Dude, I can't wait to see this. You know that that, that will be like Christmas morning for me. The morning I realize where I get a te my text is blown up. And they're like, have you seen Tom's video? I, know, I, know. I might wait for it. I might not watch it. You ever done that with the, I used to do that with the UFC. I'd buy the fight at night and we go out party. And then the next morning we throw a party at like eight in the morning. Everyone come over and we watch the UFC at eight in the morning. No one in the world has ever done this. Oh, it is so much fucking fun because you got to stay away from all electronics, away from everything because you don't want to ruin it. And you know that so, you know that the answers are already out there, but you're watching it. I may hold off on how long I wa don't watch that and watch it live with you. Watch it like here. I would actually love if you could do that. If you, I would, if you I will, would, I will not, I will not watch it so that I can watch it live here. That would be fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make it special. I'll just tell you that. Wait, how special? Just, just some little juice in it. <laughs> oh. Can you, anyone, please send ideas? You, the bigger this is, the happier it makes me. Yeah. No, I, I look. I, you know, this is what life's about. Yeah. Life is about fucking around. It's not about taking anything serious. Like people, like there's some comics that were like that. You could see like rolled their eyes at it. Like, come on, man. Like you, you know, I'm sure Chris Rock was like. Why would he do that? Like, I'm not saying that Chris Rock said that, but like certain guys that are serious guys would yeah. be like, why don't you just tell jokes, man? And yeah. you're like, because eh, I'm a fucking comedian yeah. and I can get half naked in front of it and dance. And it, that's my fucking job. Yeah, it's, just, it's, it, it's fun for you. Dude, I fucking love fucking around like this. This uh, makes my uh, life. Uh, so, yeah, no, I'm, I'm with you. It, it, it's, what, I'm, where, I want to know everything. Where, did you, where were you when you saw it? And were you with Push? Where was I when I, when I saw it? Um, I remember she goes, uh, fuck, I'm trying to think the first time, when did I see it? 
Well, but here's the thing. You know, I actually get I'm irritated that I didn't get fully surprised because oh, I had yeah. the, the tip off. It would have been great if I had just been like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. But since I knew something was coming. I told those guys about it and I was like. No, they I, were cool. But but uh, Jay, Jay in comp, he, he did it super casual. He wasn't trying yeah. to. He was like, yeah, you got, why aren't you guys doing that thing? I go, oh, I don't, not everybody wanted to do it. He's like, uh, Jay Okerson. He was like, he's like, yeah, because I mean, you know, Bert showed me like a little bit of his uh, routine he's working on. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I would have loved <laughs> I would have loved to have been there to watch Jay go, oh. No, I didn't let him know. I was like, oh, really? He's like, yeah, you know, because he was showing me that thing he's working on, and then he kind of pulled it away. And I was like, yeah, the, the dance that he's working on right now? And he's oh, like, yeah. shut up. Yeah. I would have loved to have been in the, just to watch that, and you were like, oh, interesting. Yeah. I was, I was, like, I was curious to see, because I, I looked at, you know, I look at the likes, and it was Christina liked it before you did. And I was like, wait, did she see it and then go, hey, Tom? I need you to see something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to because when did you put it out? I put it out. I don't know, like Last in the day. morning, like a couple days, a couple days ago. Yeah, so I was on vacation. So I, I think I'm, it was I'm, when you were in Florida. Yeah, it must have been the day my vacation got ruined. So that would have been <laughs> Thursday. She was, she was like, you have been because all day I was like, I can dance better. I was like, I'm a better dancer. Oh, and, shut and, up! Yeah, and she's like, she goes, are you gonna stop talking about how you're a better dancer? And I was like, no. I go. I'm going to fucking make. Then I started call. I called a friend of mine who directs music, like big music videos. And I, <laughs> oh my god! I, go, I sent it to him. Oh I, my god! I, I sent it to him and I was like, "Hey man, only thing I got to tell you is to watch this and know that we're gonna diarrhea all over this." <laughs> oh my god! I am. I f I just realized what I might have unleashed. Yeah. Because I know the way you work, and I know the way your brain's like, I'm throwing money at this problem. <laughs> Fuck it. How much? $30,000? Sure. Bert paid twelve. I'll pay thirty. At $1,200. That video cost me $1,200 to shoot. $1,200? Yeah. I might. All I had is a guy with a steady cam and a fucking one of those Chinese light bulbs. No, I will tell you this. I, I'm not going to. I, I won't do something. I'm not going to be like, 250 I'm grand in... sounds good. <laughs> i do that. But... I'm looking for like a Missy Elliott, like the fucking big... Oh, the inflatable outfit yeah. with Tom Boom. Can you work it? Can you work it? Oh, that would be I'm so not, great. I'm not going to do that, but I might. <laughs> so, all right. Now, here's a couple other things. We've been oh. putting it out there for a few weeks that we need a theme song. So, we should put our cans on. And I guess uh, listeners submitted, and it's time for us to weigh in on... <laughs> what they have put out there. Let's see here. Is this? Yeah. So um, do you know the names of people who submitted as we listen to them? Yes, I do. Oh, great. Great. So why don't you go ahead and just um, start us off? Yeah, we're going to start off first with some honorable mentions that can't really be used. Oh, uh, <laughs> kind of like the Mickey Mantle jean shirt. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. I can't believe I didn't think that through. Wait, why can't these be used though? Uh, they're just really heavy on the uh, on the Bert is racist stuff. So I figure, oh. you know, keep it a little more neutral for the theme. Yeah. Oh, right. And but maybe I mean, out of my comments, everybody. <laughs> it's like so, so funny when you, you post a, a viral video and then the comments are like, yeah, but he's a thriving racist. And someone's <laughs> like, actually, I don't see any racism in this video. <laughs> and they're like, it's just a fun guy who's dancing. They're like, who's in the clan? <laughs> yeah. And, and, and people are like, and then you watch people fight online yeah, and you're like, oh no. my God. Yeah, no, it's good. Night. All right. So this is a, yeah, this, an honorable mention. Yeah. This is an honorable mention from Zach from Australia. Okay. Let's hear it. Bert Kreischer is a Nazi scum at best And if you let him on stage, he'll divide your audience Just a good That's sting it. That's it? That's yep. the That's open. all the fucking song he had? Welcome to Two Bears, One K <laughs> <laughs> My name's Tom Segura, I am not Bert Kreischer <laughs> And then uh, he had two submissions, here's oh. the second Oh, one. can't wait to hear this one Yeah Let's hear it Bird Kreischer is a motherfucking bitch, bitch that's way fatter than Tom Segura is. Are any of these submissions going to be fans of mine? <laughs> I mean, they're fans of the show. Yeah. yeah. Oh, thanks, Zach. Zach? Hey, Zach, don't hold your breath. Tom's not coming to Australia anytime fucking soon. Uh... Thank you for the submission. I appreciate Jesus your work. Christ. Right, how about this one? Yeah, here's our another uh, honorable submission oh, from Greg. This is an Greg. honorable. Okay. Honorable. Okay. Honorable okay. from okay. Greg. Okay. Let's hear Greg's. If you're a fan of mine, you have to have what? The fucking swastikas. 
you stop saying the N word? Like you cannot say that? And I was saying it everywhere. <laughs> I'm Hitler! Oh my god. How do you feel about reparations? Come and get the hose, there's gonna be blood! Blood! Oh my god, there's swastikas everywhere! You're like, I feel home, it's like a no. monk. That guy went on my back. There's gonna be blood! Will you stop saying the N word? There's swastikas everywhere. How'd that feel? I'm Hitler! There's gonna be blood! I'm Hitler! There's gonna be blood! I'm Hitler! I like it. I'm That's super catchy. That's pretty funny. It's pretty good. Thanks, Greg. That's super catchy. Thanks a lot, Greg. That was really good. Uh, here's our last honorable mention from KLEE Shade. Okay. is fat also racist <laughs> I'm Australian <laughs> two bears one cave Tom is there <laughs> he's on the left he's also there two bears one cave it's two bears one cave two bears one cave it's two bears one cave Okay, I kind of like it. It's kind of fun. <laughs> Tom is also there. I'm Australian. Yeah, I kind of like it. I like that he threw himself in there. I'm Australian. I love it. I think it was funny. <laughs> Bird is raisin. Okay, is this a real submission now? Bird is yeah. rat. Yeah, so now we have... Tom uh, is there <laughs> on the left. <laughs> so now we have real submissions. Uh, we have six submissions. Okay. Um, Are we going to pick one today? I think we should. I think we should too. I'm really, I'm really excited about these. <laughs> um, all right. So this first one is uh, by Craig and Callie. Ooh, guy and girl. Start the show. One cave. Making it hot and looking good. Looking good. He's Bert Kreischer. I'm Tom Segura. Let's just put the pedal to the metal and go. go, go, go. This is a perfect way to start off this show. Twelve years in the making. This is gonna be a fucking shit show. Everyone's gonna, it's gonna, they're gonna hate us. A hundred percent. Cheers. I mean, that's dope, dude. I, I like, like that. that. I like that. I like the laughter in the background to tag it out. It's good. That was a really good one. That's, I'm a fan. What, who is that? Callie. That is Craig and Callie. Okay, write write that down as you know. This is a serious consideration. Yeah, I mean, from like if you, if you had to give it five stars out of five stars, how many stars would you? I give? mean, it's just it's clean. It's to the point. You yeah. know, it's it, it it has a nice beat, a nice rhythm to it. it. Has little samples from us both. I mean, I'm going like four and a half stars. I'm going four and a half stars yeah. too. All right, four and a half stars. This next one is by Tyler. Okay. I got to tell you, this is normally not the lane that I lean into at all, yeah. but I really like what he did. I love what he did. Yeah. I feel like I could play that by myself at home on my guitar. Yeah. <laughs> Two bears and one cave. And you could really yeah. ad lib. And then if, and then we could start every show with some of his acoustics and we could sing our topics. I also like that he did a dun, 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 dun. Like a, like a, it's like a, you know, when the scene switches on a sitcom, there's like a little stinger or whatever. It's, called, <laughs> a little tra it's like that. It's like the show has started. He gives you like three chords. I like it. I like it too. All right. So do you guys like this one better or worse than the first one? Kind of difficult. I'm tied right now between the two. Okay, we'll put them both at four and a half stars. Right okay. Now. This next one is by Julian. All right. 
I got to say, it's, um, there's something, see, there's something about when these intros come in, they're either, sometimes they're like too complicated. Yeah. Or too simple. Too simple. That was, that was a little simple for me. It was me. a little, it was a two little, bears, yeah. So cave, I would two say, bears, one cave. yeah, it's like, it's, and, it's, and it kind of just kind of lulled you into the show. Like you'd be like, yeah, oh. it's not, uh, it's not poorly done. I would just say that it's at half star less than the other one. Yeah. I like it, but it, I yeah. like it, but it's just like, it's, it would be, you know what? It's good. That's a good bumper. Exactly. Yeah. We should keep that. Keep that for like, well, after you do, ad, like say the music comes in or say in between ads, two bears, one kid. That's good. Bears, good point. We got to, we nice. got to use that. Good call. All right. I'll hold on to that. This next one is by Rabid Pickle. You sure it's not Rabbi Pickle? Ladies and gentlemen, step right up. The podcast, 12 years in the making. Have you heard his fantasy about you being in a coma? Bert Kreischer! I am definitely Hitler. I am definitely Hitler. Two bears, one K. Dude, Rob Gronkowski would fucking love us. Double thick boys with two C's for that ass. <laughs> it's a good intro. It's a good intro. Do you want... I am Hitler in the title? No. Yeah. <laughs> in every episode. In intro. every episode. So like 10 years from now, when we're both in our 50s, we're like, hey, I'm still Hitler. <laughs> and then and that people meet you and they're like, you're the, you're the Hitler You're Hitler, guy. right? You're the Hitler guy with the two bears. One. You're not the fat guy. You're the Hitler guy? No, I'm the um, fat guy. I'm the Hitler guy. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, that's not going to make it. Sorry. But it's, uh, but they tell them that, you know. Thank you, sir, for your effort. Is that Julian? Uh, that is Rabid Pickle. Oh, sorry, Rabid Pickle. Rabbi Pickle. <laughs> Rabbi Pickle. Uh, Burke can't help himself. Rabbi Pickle. <laughs> um, all right, this next one is by Robert Dudley. What's up, Bobby? Bert and Tom, Tom and Bert. One goes topless while the other wears a shirt. Tom tells stories and Bert's the machine. There's not a chance in hell that they'll keep it clean. Here's what we call Two Bears, One Cave. No scripts, a bit of booze, amateur partology. Dirty jokes, raunchy humor, no apologies. Here's what we call Two Bears, One Cave. Can I tell you my first thought on this? Yeah. Outro song, not an intro song. I thought I was thinking the same thing. And you know what I want that guy to do? Mm. I want to I want him to do five second clips of and here's a flashback story. Yeah. Yeah. And so yeah. we can plug him in every now and then. Yeah, and right. and if he could go through and give us like give us real short ones, but like just little plugs throughout so we have a little I because I, I like that, but it's a good outro song, yeah. Yeah. Uh I so think, it's between the first two. Yeah. I mean, my instinct is to go with the... Is there another one? Yeah, we have one oh, last one. Oh, okay, okay. Ooh, if I know anything about Blue Band, this might be the best one. <laughs> Thick Boy Nation. Uh, this is by Who Fresh. Who Fresh Ooh. is Fitz. Ooh, Who Fresh. It's a damn He's Bert Kreischer. Bert Kreischer. Two, two, two Bears, One Cave. I'm Tom Segura. Two, 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 two Bears, One Cave. This is that new, new. That new, new. Two, 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 two. two. Two, two bears, one cave. Twelve years in the making. Two, two bears, one cave. A TV show based on me and you being gay. Bears, one cave. And what would you and Tom Segura do? And we just start fucking. Two bears, one cave. And have like a bareback mountain. Two, two, two bears, one cave. Two bears, one cave. <laughs> two, two bears, one cave. <laughs> hmm. We may lose new listeners with that intro because it sounds very homoerotic. <laughs> very. <laughs> Like, like they a, may it's go almost wait, almost like what is this sit on my cock kind of shit <laughs> um but i sit i gotta tell my... you I, like it's the closest i would come to putting gay shit on our <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I, I mean i think he did a great job i think it was a great job but me i want to hear the first one again the yeah, first yeah. one kind of I, I don't know if it was because it was the first one right let's hear the right first. okay so it looks like it's between the first two so here's the first one by craig and callie okay Start the show. One cave. Making it hot and looking good. Looking good. He's Bert Kreischer. I'm Tom Segura. But let's just put the pedal to the metal and go. This is a perfect way to start off this show. Twelve years in the making. 
This is gonna be a fucking shit show. Shit show. Everyone's shit gonna, shit. gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna hate us. A hundred percent. I like it, man. I I gotta be honest with you. Yeah. I I, I want to go with that one. Yeah, I like it because I like the I. What I love is it has an arc. Mm-hmm. You know, like all the other songs didn't have arcs. This has an arc. Like, oh, 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 let's start the show, yeah. and then it's and then you hear everyone laughing as the outro. I like. I think that has to be it. I think. Uh, I think our decision is made. Oh, all right. So it looks like Craig and Callie are now the new intro for Two Bears One Cave. Thank you, guys. Congratulations, Craig. Thanks and to Callie. everybody who submitted to it. Really yeah, thank you, everyone. It. And uh, we can use uh, was it Dudley as that like bumper guy or the um, there was uh, there was Julian who uh, who who we're going to be using for for interludes between ads. Yep. Um, and then we have uh, Robert for the outro. I think it's a good idea. I think it's a brilliant idea. Yeah. I like it. And thanks for everyone for your time and talent submitting that. Seriously appreciate it. I love the I love just how creative these fans are. The best. I love these um the montages you see online. You yeah, know? they're uh, so much fun. Let's see like cuz I know there's some super cuts that people have made. Jesus. Let's Cra- see. Can I tell you I I I was excited cuz I was like I cuz I don't remember many much of the podcasts. Like I don't remember what we talked about. Yeah. And so I I was I saw one super cut. And the guy and the guy tagged me in it, you you know, and I watched it. It wasn't even funny. It was just an informational racist ad with me speaking, and I was like, "Oh my!" I go, I was like, "In the day of fake news, there's going to be someone that see uh, this is it." I don't think I talk. I don't think my face moves. It's just racist stuff with my face on it. Really? Uh, let me see it. Let me see it. Um. So this one is by Justin G. Okay. This week on Two Bears One Cave, <laughs> I could be the poster boy for ISIS. Yeah, okay. there's a really weird comfort in murdering motherfuckers like yeah. people of color, and yeah. I would love if that became the new world. Yeah, super alt right swastikas everywhere, and then take all the fucking minorities, all black people, Latinos, Native Americans, and then just kill them all. What? Uh, no more locking your doors. Like I just want to put gas over everyone ethnic, and then just light them up. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> then white people or the Aryan group can't be safe. And then everyone started chanting, Bert, 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 Bert. <laughs> I would love that. Oddly enough, I'm gay. One time I blew a squirrel. Do you remember that? <laughs> like, I just want to take your pants off, shirts off. Why would you? And then you shove it up your ass, be a dumb whore. And then videotape the whole thing and then turn around. Body Shots World Tour. Tickets still available. You're the worst. You're the worst. Start in San Francisco in September and in, and in Cleveland in November. That was great. Uh, that was fucking great. That's great. That and was great. And here's the thing, man. The the amount of hard edits, you know, in that would not. That is so someone fun. Will that know one's fucking great. That you said it, but you didn't say it that way. You know? I said it, but I didn't say it that way. Yeah. The one that got me off grade was just the sound. And the guy did this sound so good that I was like, I'm going to stop saying certain words in life. Really? I was like, I was like, I got to see this one. Oh, it was, was so eerie. All right, what's this one? I want to see this one? one. This one is by Mike Timpson. Okay. Uh, he made something animated. Oh, fuck. This is Two Bears, One Cave, episode three. So, how do you feel about reparations? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm not going to defend this. Come on, man. They're people. Oh, God. What? I don't know if I can agree with that. <laughs> really? Yeah. Why? I really think they're monkeys. Hmm. I told Isla the monkeys are gonna want to fuck her because she's on her period. <laughs> this is what we hate. Why we hate them? That yeah. seems crazy, man. There's okay. a really oh. weird comfort in hitting the blacks over the head with the steel pipe. What the fuck are you talking about? This is my Saturday. What? Yeah, beating up minorities. I fucking hate black skinned black people. I hate light skinned black people and all of the African American community because dude, I'm a legit Nazi. <laughs> yes, most racist man alive. Okay. <laughs> By the way, I would love, I would love Oh slaves God. is a fucking psycho man <laughs> one time i blew a squirrel that's what i'm talking about <laughs> have one yeah i, yeah, I might as well <laughs> body shots world tour tickets still available <laughs> body shots world tour. <laughs> oh. <laughs> body shots world tour oh body shots world tour hey you gotta send uh, that to me i want to post that on instagram oh yeah me that's too fucking oh my god that is fucking uh, hilarious that's amazing that is oh amazing mike timpson yeah mike timpson Fucking A, oh, man. Oh, please, Mike, please. Can we put you on retainer and have you do that for every show and sum up every show in an animation? That is so fucking funny. That was fantastic. I just want to hit him over. The, I'm, now I'm just saying the words. Yeah. Like, I didn't even need to edit it. No, that was I amazing. I hit him over the head. All of them.
all of them. And then you list them by, oh, by skin tone. That was fucking <laughs> hilarious. That was so funny. All right, what's next? This next one is the last one. It's by Maro Da. Um, it's about two and a half minutes, so feel free to tap out whenever you want to. Okay. okay. <laughs> Will you stop saying the N-word? Like, mm-hmm. you cannot say that? And I was saying it everywhere. And they're like, yeah, it's a racial slur. And I was well, for, like, for what? For, uh, t- like, a traveling slaves or uh, <laughs> former slaves. doesn't mean anything to me, so I'm not, I don't feel like any moral weight on that <laughs> i mean come on man they're people oh god so how do you feel about reparations now? they are talking about bringing reparations yeah, yeah, back. Yeah, i actually yeah. so badly want to talk about this yeah fuck reparations or something <laughs> actually white people like let's allow black owned operations to get a foot into the weed industry i don't see black community <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay. all right this is good this <laughs> but yeah um but we can we can we can, we can stop <laughs> jesus christ I, th- I think we got the point from the other ones <laughs> yeah yeah uh no but that's uh it's very funny oh um, the i gotta be honest with you the middle one made me laugh yeah the animated one animated one made me laugh here's a, oh, here's my authentic uh, what does that say my authentic what someone made a a, a comic strip uh here's my authentic southern art is what the caption oh is. oh I wait is you. that me Yep. But they should know they also just drew racist art. <laughs> they did. They drew racist art. Super racist. Super racist. Yeah. What's the next image? And my European European heritage club. Oh, and then they, they also drew Hitler. And then Bert, is this what you spend your money on? There you go. Pfft, no way, because no you're eating. <laughs> I used reparation. Oh my god. Fuck it. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is gonna you know what's gonna suck for you? Yeah. <laughs> is uh like two years from now when like Ford is like, hey, let's have this guy endorse the F one fifty or something. <laughs> I gotta I've gotta hope that there is some sort of cyber attack on this country <laughs> and that all our internet just goes away and we all get to start fresh. Yeah, yeah that's likely. <laughs> some sort of like the end of fight club. <laughs> You know it's gonna be. You know it's gonna be. The, the, I'm gonna be sitting at a at a big d- table, and they'll be like, "So, we're really excited about the project, but there's a couple of questions we have about your digital footprint." And I'll be like, "And they are," and they're like, I, "Your views on reparations." And I go, <laughs> "Actually, those are." Hold on one second. And they're like, "Well, we saw this video. It's animated of two bears, one cave that your podcast used to do with that guy that passed away." <laughs> I go, "Yeah, he was my friend." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god rumor has his cars doing 120 on the 101 when he fu- went off the. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel like um do you feel like i'll die before you yeah immediately you, everyone's you, gonna die before me everyone's gonna die before you yeah yeah i'll be the last one here do you really think that i really think that you don't think you have the mickey mantle gene no i i definitely have the undisclosed athlete gene <laughs> i gotta change the name of this fucking gene now well um, no but like he died no of liver i think he had cirrhosis and he had uh, some yeah some but cancer. i think there wasn't there wasn't things in like I, I definitely am on top of all my health stuff so like more so than but i go to the doctor more than you go to the doctor what are you talking about i go to the doctor every nine months okay how often do you go i'm best friends with my doctor oh really yeah we're on, what's his name i can't say it because it's a hurt no, it's a guy. It's a guy. Yeah, you really know. You really have a doctor. We're we're really good friends. Really, yeah, I swear to you. Um, no, I, I I'm in front of it. I'm pretty healthy. I'm being healthy now. I'm, we're not gonna be healthy when we go on the road. But then we got sober October coming up, and then November, December. Yeah, I'll be fine. Yeah, I think I I think about that a lot. You don't I, think you you think you're gonna live to old age though? Yeah. For real? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I'm gonna shock everyone. And here's what I think it's gonna be, and I'll tell you why. Is uh, I'll be at your funeral. And people will look at me and they'll go, oh, it should have been him. God. His kids are so much younger than Bert's kids. Oh, Jesus. Bert's kids are old. Look at that. I feel bad. Because I don't want so you to hard. die, but I think about it a lot. I don't want you to die, but I'm going to be really sad when I give you a eulogy. Let's give our eulogies right now. I just feel like... Tom was a great friend. Sometimes. Am I right, people? <laughs> no, I'll be, I'll be really sad at your funeral. Oh, you won't be there. <laughs> yes, I will. You'll be. Yeah. It, 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 no. <laughs> yes, I, dude. It's going to be in like six years. Oh, you're out of your fucking mind. It is. 
You're the one that everyone's like, ocular cancer? <laughs> Didn't see that coming. No. <laughs> Yours is going to be like, oh, wait, no, alcohol does catch up with you. <laughs> <laughs> wait, who do you think, oh, if, okay, if you had to say who, one of us died in a hospital bed and one of us died in an accident, which would be which? Oh. Um, You're the accident. I'm yeah, a hospital bed. Yeah, that's probably When I'm 90. <laughs> 90 no, I actually old. think that you actually believe this. Oh, I totally do. I totally do. Does it feel weird at all knowing that no one else would ever think that about you? Yeah. it's. I think, can I tell you, I was just having this argument in my head Let's driving here. Let's let these guys weigh in. Oh, okay. What? I mean, you could be honest. What What do you think? Uh, well, I mean, Bert's older, so naturally, you know. By a year. A year? Yeah. What are you, 46? No. I just turned 40. Wow, you look so much older. I know. Now, That's- wait. Do you think he's going to live to 90? Well, I mean, like, uh, like I know Tom, like, you don't drink that. Like, you don't treat your body like shit. And, yeah. Uh, Wait, I'm sorry. Have you seen his body? <laughs> yeah, I mean. Thank yeah. you, Josh Potter. In the back goes, yeah, I have. <laughs> no, no, yeah, no, yeah no. I mean, yeah, we've no, seen but it. Do but you, do, you think, do, you, do you think he'll live to an old age? Um, uh, I, I mean, I, it's hard to say that. I think he's definitely not going to outlive you. What about Potter? Potter has a balanced view on things. Yeah, Josh, what do you think? Yeah, let's ask a guy with the worst vision in the room who's, whose he, body looks he, worse. He's an honest guy, though. Josh is well, honest. Well, I, I don't think it's a body thing. I think like uh, people doubt my longevity in this world, right. so I think Bert's more like me where he will surprise some people. Right. Tom, you're sick like all the time. I feel like something's yeah. going to wipe you out. Okay. You, like sure. if anyone's getting spinal meningitis, it's you, not me. I don't know about spinal meningitis. Like something like that. Like you're going to be, your death will shock everyone. And I'll have to make so many statements about it. You will. Oh, I'm going to be get a publicist. Be like, this is how I leapfrog into bigger arenas. I'll take his fans, <laughs> double them up with my fans. I'll do like a thing that Adam Sandler did for Farley. I'll have a, like a, I'll have a, a, a shadow of you come up on stage, <laughs> like Alfred Hitchcock. And I'll be like, <laughs> I'm missing somebody. <laughs> and everyone will start crying. <laughs> and then you take your shirt off. And hey! I'll take my shirt off. Hey! When I was 22, I got involved with Roger Mafia. Here's how it happened. I think um, you know, Josh, they both had a fair input. Would you rather die before push or after push? Um, I, I would, go ahead. No, look, wait, if it's like you're talking about like in near times. N- no, like one of you's got to die first, and you get to pick it right now. I don't want. I don't want to be around with like my kids and they don't have their mom. I think it'd be horrible. Uh, I was gonna say the exact opposite, but oh. okay. Definitely rather Leanne go. Like, really? Be like, yeah, Leanne, you distract the bear. I'll get the girls out of here. <laughs> no, it would be uh, that. That's a funeral I don't want to be at. I would not want to be at Leanne's funeral because everyone would be like, it should have been him. Oh, that I can 100% attest 100%. to. 100%. Because I would, I would be at the front of that line. I'll you know, you you know right for now. a fact, if, if, if at my funeral, everyone would be like, you know what, Leanne? You were a saint. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Everyone. No one's gonna look at my funeral. First of all, at my funeral. There's two things that no one. Like, at your funeral, everyone would be like, "How come no one has Kleenex?" And then, <laughs> is no one crying? Is everyone just, you know, this isn't a barbecue, right? My funeral is gonna be pretty fucking awesome. I've already ta- I talked about it in my uh, in my um, in when we did a living trust. Yeah, I want a legit funeral. Like, do you want it to be a fun thing? A hundred percent. And are I want. Dict- are you dictate? Someone has. Oh yeah, just told us that they, they, that they their family the person who's old and sick dictated that they want people to wear like bright clothes and they they don't want it to be like you know like oh my funeral is going to be fun as fuck because if you i'm going to i want a highlight reel right i want i mean it's going to be like a a couple hours long like i want like a full-on highlight reel of all the shit i did i want my travel channel shit done i'm gonna get an editor to do all that shit so that people go like because i think really and when you look at my life i have lived such way past my expectations that I've never expected I'd be here. Right. Let alone all the shit I've done. I mean, I'm first person to jump off stratosphere, skydive with Rachel Ray, uh, swam with great white sharks. I've done so much shit that no one's going to be like, well. You know what you should do in your montage reel? What? Have it like all these things and have it build to you go, you know, when I was uh, 19, I got involved with the Russian mafia. And then you turn to camera and be like, I'm not going to make you guys sit through it. <laughs> <laughs> so I got everyone's like, oh, here we fucking go. <laughs> I'm gonna hire, I'm gonna hire six Russian-looking gangsters to sit in the back of my of the my funeral. I like so it. everyone's like, I think the mob is here. They're here. Oh. Ivan, Igor, and fucking whatever. Oh, 
Yeah. Is it is? It, do you think average people think about their funeral and stuff? Or do no, you think, I don't think most people do. No. Is it because we're comedians that our brains just go like? Because like. I heard people talking in my hot spin class about Chappelle special uh-huh. and they were kind of like, like aghast by it. And really? I was like, yeah. What were they saying? That like, he, I don't know. I'm not even going to forward that, that narrative because yeah. I just sat there and I was like, is it, am I broken? That I, that it didn't, uh, it didn't offend me. I didn't no, lose any sleep over we're... Chappelle special at all. I actually laughed hysterically. <laughs> Can you imagine That's being a... like, I was, a, <laughs> I was, I had trouble sleeping. Can you, I can't imagine. Like people were still trying to work through the trauma and I was like I'm literally going no. that's that's just indicative of the world today you know I got messages from some some people in uh, Vancouver that uh from my shows last week and they're like I just wanted to let you know that I was appalled at a few of these things I'm I was dying like to see your special because you it. said you said to me you're like huh you thought the last one was bad Oh, I'm gonna get a lot of shit, but but only not because like I'm so on the line. Edu- it's it's that it's because the world is different. It's you know what I mean. It's, it's not so it's not different me pushing than when it. we started. When yeah. we started, do you remember how hard we'd go at like just to get it recognized? Yeah, nobody would, and nobody would ever like. Uh, one time I made a couple cry. I remember that. But like <laughs> other than that, uh, <laughs> that was in Irvine. But. You made a couple cry? Yeah. Were they Asian? No. Just whites? No, their son was a dwarf. And <laughs> and they weren't. Oh, they weren't? No. Okay. And, uh, you know, I didn't pick them out and be like, well, what about you guys? What's up with your fucking kid? I just made jokes. Oh, and, and their son wasn't there? No. Oh, okay. I thought he was sitting at the table with them. And like that, yeah, I just did the bit. I just did the bit. Yeah. And like, look, dude, the bit. I'm just being a bit crushed. Is this, uh, is this the... Uh, n-word m-word yeah, yeah. oh it's a great yeah. bit which by the way just so people know i know other comedians have done it uh, uh not, you, i remember when you wrote that bit this was got to be like 15 years ago it was a long time yeah ago. and and it all some some people have uh, uh pointed to me out over the time they're like oh Mulaney does that bit i did mine before his oh yeah and i know before. he didn't take mine but i definitely didn't take his Do, just you know what's so record. funny someone tried to get me to uh call out Mulaney for stealing one of my bits and i was like no john Mulaney doesn't steal bits. he doesn't steal anything he doesn't steal any bits no he's he's fantastic but i just always i had to write it made me feel thousand... good that john Mulaney and i were on the same page of course, writing bits. I, had to, I had to defend that like i thought like i would tell people have you looked up the release date on these and then they would just not write back to me. Yeah. Um, How about own your fucking mistakes, people? Yeah, come on, man. But anyways, I just did that bit. It was a long time ago. And yeah, that's what one, one thing I distinctly remember. A guy, the guy, the father followed me to the bathroom. And what got in your face? He uh, tapped me on the shoulder. And I was like, he goes, hey, uh, that was really funny stuff. And I go, I was like, oh, thanks, Tom's man. taking a piss. Hey, thanks a lot, buddy. Yeah, I go, uh, thanks, man. He goes, really funny. And then his face got real like straight. And I was like. <laughs> I was like, thank you. And I'm just like waiting for like, what's he going to have happen next? He goes, yeah, you know, I really enjoyed it. Um, uh, my, uh, my son's a dwarf. And I go, okay. Cause I, I didn't, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not sure where he's going. I, I just say, okay. And he goes, so I go, well, um, I'm sorry if uh, it, I think I said, I, I'm sorry if it, uh, if it offended you. And he goes, it's not, you didn't offend me. You're, you're offensive to him and what he, what, what he can be by saying that. And I just, I just go like, I, I just said, okay, man. Like I just, I did, I mean, I wasn't trying to inst- like provoke him yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, you just like, yeah. I, I just go, okay, man. Okay. And he goes, uh, but uh, he goes, have a great, have a good night. Re- you're really funny. And I go. All right. Do you so realize then, that's where I would have been like, "Wait, are you, are you being serious?" Or I'm confused. <laughs> I knew I, I knew what he was doing. So then he then he went and he he got his wife from the show. No, at this point, I moved to like the like an area of the old Irvine Improv where you can kind of watch Over the far left and to the far right, like almost by the by the office. Oh entrance. yeah, 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 yeah. And then they come out to the lobby and she's fucking crying, right? Oh, and dear uh, Lord. Dan Godfrey is talking to her and she's like. And I could hear her going, he's a fucking asshole. And he goes, he's a good guy. He's a, yeah, he's actually a good guy. He's a good guy. You haven't seen guy. Corey Holcomb. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. And uh, he, he's like, she's like, he's a fucking asshole. And and then Dan Godfrey goes, I can uh, hear it. He's like, you guys should go. And he goes, here's some here's some tickets. 
come by. Brad Williams is here next week. Yeah, he's <laughs> like, come back whenever you want. And then as they're walking away, I'll never forget, he, go, he goes, hey, guys. <laughs> and they turn back, and he goes, I can't promise the next guy's not going to be an asshole, too. <laughs> and he just walks out. But, I mean, I feel like that those two people who yeah. are not bad people, they're just no. reacting to it. That idea of, like, reacting to you shouldn't say, that's – a lot of people now. It's a lot. It's definitely a lot of people. I, 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 I don't even know how to interact with that. I, I mean, I had a woman one time come out. I used to have a joke about. Uh, I, for, I, I forget the premise, but the joke was, uh, you know, it's a great way to get a blowjob: grab her by the back of the head and strong arm her on your dick. Mm-hmm. And then I tried the sensitive approach. You know, slide it in her mouth while she's sleeping. And then, oh, yeah. yeah, and then be like, uh, "Oh, you're dreaming. You're dreaming. You're snorkeling in the keys. Feel yeah. the fish bouncing off your chin." And some girl came up to me in New York, and I had a bunch of people like going, oh, that was a great show, great show. Some girl was shaking mad. And she was like... You're advocating assault? And she goes, yeah. no, she goes, y- you know you're raping your wife. And I went, excuse me? She goes, you're raping your wife. You're raping your wife. And I was like, no, I'm, I've never raped my wife. She was like, no, you're raping your wife. You raped her. And I was like, what? She goes, you put your dick in her mouth while she's sleeping? That's rape. And then walked away. And this one, one woman chased her down and was like, learn how to take, like was way more aggressive than I would have ever been. I would have been like, I definitely, if the woman had talked to me, I would have been like, hey, I, I don't, maybe I didn't see your point of view. But then some fucking guys next to me like, dude, clearly someone put his dick in her mouth while she was sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I feel like I haven't seen the Dave thing, the, spe- the newest special. It's great. Well, I got to be honest with you, it's great. And, and but I, lo- I love that, that what I have seen are a bunch of people on like social media going, People are crying. This is hilarious. Like yeah, they're, they're calling it out. You know. Yeah, they're they're calling out people for. Like, I had a similar thing on uh, on mostly stories. I had a joke about how I, Christina was pregnant, and I was like, you know what, you should do. I, I made some analysis that like when you leave it in, you know, versus pull out. Like it was, it's kind of like the first time you try melted cheese. You're like, this is fucking amazing. This is so much better. Like you, all you have to do is melt it. And I go. So if you've never like left it in. I go, next time you're in there, uh, instead of pulling out, I say something like, uh, just next time, just just don't. Even if she says to be like, oh, I forgot. Yeah. And like, just come inside of her. So, I mean, you watch it in the context of it, and obviously it's a joke. Dude, I got so many, they go, you're advocating sexual assault. You're saying that even when a woman says not like to pull out, to to go against her wishes. I'm like, I don't think you should watch stand-up specials. Yeah, there's know? people that should not. You should have yeah. to take like an intelligence test. Yeah. Of like, of like, hey, this is a Am joke. I serious right here? You know. One guy on CNN was pretty cool. I, I saw him talk, talk, defend Chappelle, and he was like, you know, he's like, it's Dave Chappelle. It's really hard to take one bit out of context and, and then say that that was serious and everything else was a joke. Yeah. And he was like, it's not. I mean, even like the Michael Jackson stuff, which... You can definitely understand. I, I mean, even when he said it, I was like, I can definitely see how someone's going to take this out of context. Of course. You're like, he's not, he's just making a, like when he said, I don't know, I'm not going to do but, his but, act. But like, don't you have that thing where like, because somebody goes, so like, so there are things that are offensive to me, right? Like I can't like always just pull them out and go like, it's like, like this. Yeah. But whenever I watch things in context of stand up and joke telling, even if I go, even if I'm not laughing out loud, my brain just goes to like, oh, that's a that's a good joke about that, or that's yeah. a bad joke about that. Yeah. But I don't go like, I gotta fucking get this guy's email information. And, and I've never, I don't think I've ever done that with anyone, even with a bad meal. Like I've did it once with a bad meal in in Baltimore, and the guy hit me back and was like, hey man, you just trashed my restaurant on Yelp. Oh, I've definitely done that. Yeah, I've lit up, I've lit up some Yelp guys. Oh, I've tried to ruin businesses. It's you know what it is. It's about powerlessness. Yeah. Like I, well, I, I, I distinctly remember being at a hotel, like a big chain hotel, and the guy was like, they had rooms, and he wouldn't give me a room, mm-hmm. and he was like, "No, nah, man, you missed your reservation. We're all sold out." And I said, "Well, what happened to my room? Gave it to someone else." And I was like, well, "Hey, hold on, I'm, but I'm here right now." And he was like, "Yeah." I go, "Is that person here?" And he's like, "Not yet." I go, "Well, tell him they can't have my room." And he was like. No, nah, man. And you could just see it in his eyes like, I don't just, really give a fuck. Yeah, he was just having fun. Yeah, I did it. The Kevin Bean. I went into Kevin Bean the other day. And the guys down at the thing were like, were like, uh, yeah, they don't open until 8. I go, well, I'm, I'm on air before 8. And they're like, sorry, man. They just did not give a fuck. Yeah. And I was like, no, the show's already started. Like, they start at 6 in the morning. And they're like, yeah, we know. And I went, well, I need to be up there. And they're like, ha, go fuck yourself. And you were just like, hold on. 
Like, and then I went up to Kevin and Bean, and they were like, oh, those guys fucking hate us, and they fuck with us nonstop. Yeah, it's, con- it's a control thing. It's, it's like, a control. Yeah. It's my wife's. It's like when you watch my wife's family walk slow across the street. If a car's coming, they slow down. Because they're like, no, fuck you. And I'm like... It's because they have no power. They have no power in their lives, and yeah. so this is the only place they get to exert it is when they cross the street. And they're white. And they're white, yeah. Wow. My wife's family is definitely white. Yeah. That's, but they're just uh, pouring on it. Oh, okay, where they go? <laughs> What? No, I was just... Uh, I was trying to walk you into something. I know, I know. <laughs> By the way, I used to have a joke about uh, black guys walking the, <laughs> across the street slow. I was jogging one day, and I was jogging next to a black guy, and we got to the light, and the light turned red, and I was like, on a whole ass, and he just stopped, he stopped jogging and walked slowly across the street, but it never worked. Yeah. Never worked. I tried to high five a black guy one time jogging. We were jogging in opposite directions, and I went, "Hey!" And he got scared as fuck. He was like, "What the fuck?" And I was like, "Oh, sorry. I was gonna high five you." We were both jogging. Like, I scared the shit out of him. Nobody, because nobody, nobody, nobody high fives someone. No, jogging. when they're jogging, no one does. <laughs> you psycho! I scared the living shit out of that guy. Oh my god! All right, um, thick boy nation rolls on with two C's for that ass. Oh my god! I went to hot spin class with Brendan Schaub. How was that? It was a fucking hilarious. How hard is that class? It's fucking hard as shit. What it, is it like? Um, is it a kind of bike where, dude? Uh, you know who teaches that class? It's the girl from, from the episode first episode one, one. The Hannah. Hannah. Who? Yes. Who met me when I was being a you know on a podcast? I was like, oh, great decolletage. She's a smoke show. I'd fucking hit that. And then she's like, hey, I'm your spin teacher. I'm like, oh, this is my sister. <laughs> She is hot as shit. So, tell me though, but what? So, is it the kind of bike where like the um they, they can change how difficult it is? No, that's a that's a Peloton. So it's the same. It's Everyone's the same got difficult. the same bike, and they trust that you're going to spin the knob to the. Oh, that's what I'm saying. You yeah. do change the difficulty you change as the you difficulty, do it. Yeah. So they're like turn it to seven. Yeah, it's about a hundred. I'm going to say a hundred degrees in there. 110 degrees. Oh, it's a hot class. Too. Oh, I told I told I go it's hot spin, and Brendan goes, oh cool, oh, I'm in. And then he shows up and the fucking, first of all, he's like 10 minutes late because he's an MMA fighter. Sure. And he's just like, he's a pro athlete and he's like, oh, oh yeah, he just comes in late. And then, and then literally. And it's like easy for him. He's like, oh, so. it's, he's loud as shit. And he's like, is the fucking heat on? And I'm like, yeah, yes. we don't, we don't talk in the class. Yeah. <laughs> Can I borrow your water? To the guy next to him. Hey, I need some water. <laughs> Anyone got any water? Uh, someone take my shirt. He's just, it, it was fucking awesome. Was it hard for him though or no? No, nah, he, he kind of killed it. But I remember. I remember when I was doing. I was at CrossFit class like years ago, and this is the kind of thing where like you, you see the like the the full spectrum of fitness levels right yeah. in the class, and you're doing the like if you've never done CrossFit, they'll have you know the workout of the day, right? So you do like some stuff to kind of warm up, and then like all right, here's what's going on today, today, and there's one of these days where it was an extremely challenging workout where it was like box jumps followed by pull ups followed by burpees, followed by power cleans, pow- like overhead press, and then and then a run, like a quarter mile run or something and back, and we're going to do four rounds of that. So it's one of those days where you're like, oh shit, and you're going to see who kind of like, you know, where yeah. people are. And so, you know, there's like, there's one guy in the class, he's like in his 60s. There's a girl who's a junior Olympian. There's, you know, and then there's a couple like workout psychos, and then there's like pieces of shit like me. Yeah. So we're all kind of knowing where it's going. Well, there's like, there go, I always thought it was funny because it was, it was a baseball player, a University of Texas Longhorn baseball player. Yeah. And he was just like in town visiting someone and they're like, he's our, he's a guest of ours today. He's doing the class. And he's like, hey, what's up? And he was like, you know, you can tell he's an athletic guy. He's, Dude, we're doing four rounds of this. When I'm on round two, um, he's already sitting down like, like having a Gatorade and we're like, what's up with him? And they're like, he did it. He did all four rounds already. Oh. Like he was so far ahead. That's with Brendan. Else. That's with Brendan. That's what I imagine. Brendan was on the bike. Like, and I'm, I'm, and there's like, I'd gone the day before, like the two days before with my buddy, Eric, who's just a lawyer. And he had a really rough time. You could see him. He was just like, what the fuck? And, and how long is it? An hour? It's an hour long. And Brendan at like 25 minutes goes, how long are we doing this for? And I'm not even out of breath. And I'm like an hour. And he's like, okay. And by the way, he did not have water. I kept giving him my water. He did not have water. He only took two sips of my water. That was it. And was fine. fine. But then you realize, like, I remember remember him telling me about training for his fight with the the Travis guy. Travis Brown. Travis Brown. And and I realized, oh, 
he's trained much harder than this spin class. Because <laughs> oh, yeah. he was like, every time they were out of the saddle, he was out of the saddle. He was going as fast as he could. And I was like, I was trying to keep up with him. And then, I, or when he might, played for University of Colorado yeah. football team. And you're like, oh, his his athletic level is like. It's a whole other level. It's it's a different yeah. it's a different animal, and you forget that because you do work out. I mean, I know I, I, everyone could probably laugh at this, but I do work out hard when I go to the class. I do as hard as I can, of course. And you think you're achieving more because you're getting better, but then you see someone like Brendan, who's by the way, the bike doesn't even fit him. No, of course. you're sitting next to him, and there's a mirror in front, and he is a mountain of a fucking man. Yeah, and his shoulders are huge, and he's just. Whoo. What's funny is that Brendan will tell you because you know he did. Um, he got, he was, I guess he, I think he was undrafted by the Bills. He was on the practice. He goes, he has that same perspective about like the elite NFL player where he goes, I, when I got there, he goes, I saw these fucking guys and we're in practice. And I was like, like he's saying like, holy shit, there's another, another level of freak. Like I, I'm not, I'm not on that level. They used to know? say that about Warren Sapp, that his speed mm -hmm. was so unfathomable. Like you would just go, I remember, I can't Especially remember. Especially for like a 300 pound guy, dude. A three, he's like a th size 15 foot. Yeah. He was just a freak. Like he had a just, motor. That's the thing about Warren Sapp. He, if you look at him you, and if you, if you don't follow and you look him up, you're like, that guy's got a big old gut. And you yeah. Know, dude, that guy was a terror. I mean, he was, he played low, he played fat, and he just, he had a motor. He never stopped. So he would, he would wreak havoc, you know, every other play. That's amazing that God made men Big fucking that much too. dude Mitts. Warren Sapp is massive yeah and but to think that that there are men that are that much more superior than us yeah that you go hold on like, and also I mean, super competitive like like that's another level of competition too where they would that's crazy fuck you that's you crazy know? that Joe's got that too he has it totally has that he has a pro but dude, he's one of us but don't forget that like we always forget this because it's like a it's like a footnote but like he was a national champion Right. Yeah. You can, I, you do Multiple fucking time, forget that. And then, like, if you go, if you're national champion, he's a like a double black belt in jujitsu. Yeah. He's, so, like, like, but to to get up, like, you have to be obsessive, and he gets obsessive over things, over everything. So then, what is the difference? Like, do you are, do you think that we don't have the ability to access what Brendan and Joe and 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 more and Sapp and all these pro athletes have, or do you think that like? Do you think that we have the ability, we haven't tapped into it? Because like sometimes I work out with my sister, obviously, always does spin class with me. Mm -hmm. And I look at her and I see, I see her and Leanne sometimes will not get to the point where they're going to throw up and do it. And I go, you yeah, need they, to get to, you they, need to work out to the point where you go. And they're never going to. No, they that, never will. That, that's mental. The, everyone has their own physical limitations or gifts, right? And like, so you, like there's, that, that's just the way it is. Like we have this, these, you're going to, you're, you're, you have this gift to, yeah. to move this way. But that mental part um, it is possible to be coached up a certain amount to to put, and the great coaches will push you to a, to a level. But there's something that a coach can't teach you. Also, they a coach won't make you Michael Jordan. You know, Michael Jordan has an amazing athletic ability, like Kobe. But they had killer. Like I won't lose. If I'd I'd rather die than lose. And like if you were on his team and you fucked something up to lose, he would try to choke you out in the locker room and want you to die because you fucked things up. For him. So okay, you know? so then that, now I think I'm wrapping my head around it. So. So then you you look at someone like um, uh, Joe who, would rather go to the hospital than than lose that thing we did last year. He'd rather be on dialysis than than lose. Oh, it's so funny! I was the exact opposite about like, yourself. Yeah, in my head, I was like, I'm just happy we're all competing together. Yeah, yeah. Because but that's what I'm saying though. That that's that voice in his head. Okay, so then what was the guy that got drafted by the Raiders that was just a absolute specimen but flopped? Uh, Javon Jamarcus Russell. Jamarcus maybe? Russell. Yeah. So does Jamarcus Russell have our interior drive, but just at astronomical genes? Yeah. And he's just like, oh, yeah, I don't want to go to practice today. I'd yeah. rather sleep and play video games. A hundred percent. So you know what? But, but here's the other thing is about a guy like that. His his physical, um, like natural ability was so advanced that for the different levels he was at before, it was more than enough. Like in high school, he didn't even have to bust his ass. In college, he was still superior to. 90% of the people around. It's just when you get to the most elite level that you go, oh, like it's not, it's not good enough here to right. just be gifted. I got it. You ready? Yeah. Me and you, celebrity MMA fight against Gronk. Me and you versus Gronk. He would fucking kill us. We could take Gronk. No, we could not. No, one of us has to take a hit for the team. No. The first person he hits dies. And then. <laughs> you think, okay, what could we beat Gronk in? 
Um, reading. I don't know. Um, a fucking chicken weed contest. Yeah, maybe. I mean, golf. I don't know if he's a, if he's good at that. Because Gronk's a fucking superior athlete. Hundred percent. He is like the prototype of like. He has unnatural size, unnatural strength. Just the kind of kid like at 13 opened his parents' bedroom's door Dude, and ripped the door off. Like, you know, oh, you what happened? You don't know this. What? He played at Josh Potter's high school. for. Yeah. Are you serious? Yes. In, wait, in Arizona? Wait. In Buffalo for a while. And then oh, he, for real? He transferred. Right? Is my right with that? Yes? Yeah, he was at uh, Williamsville North for a spell before they took him out of there. And uh, how was he decent in high school as a player? Yeah, I was actually at Williamsville South. He was at Williamsville North. They okay. played us three times a season, and I was doing the uh, PA stuff, and I'd have to call his name. He'd like throw passes to himself. <laughs> and I mean, he must. I mean, throw passes to he must have been an absolute fucking animal. Oh, dude, yeah, he was just like he is now, but in high school. You yeah. know what I mean? When he I was threw in, me into a locker in a second. Um, I looked. I saw this <laughs> thing. What was it? I saw a clip of Jadavion Clowney in high school. Oh, is that the guy with the tits? No. You're thinking of Andre Smith. Yeah. Um, it, was, uh, it was not very competitive for him in high school. <laughs> really? Yeah, dude. They were pulling kids out of games and shit. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I saw, I saw clips of Aaron Hernandez, the guy that murdered those people. Uh-huh. And... <laughs> Like I didn't know. Who that was. Like, I don't know. I thought you might go. Yeah. Like I yeah. grew up Which with guy? him, South Florida. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and uh, he was just like just a diff- those They're different. They're different humans. Oh, totally, a hundred percent. And he was. Uh, Aaron Hernandez was. He was a he was a star star. If you want to look up one that's real crazy, so like you, FSU, yeah, got fans. You remember Darnell Dockett? No. You don't remember Darnell Dockett? No, I don't think so. Pull so, a picture of Darnell Dockett. Darnell Dockett. <laughs> His, I want to say both of his parents were murdered when he was a, a young teenager. And so I'm talking about like mentally what's going on. Yeah. Hit, hit some images of my man. Okay. That's, oh my God. Okay. Oh my God. Look at that picture. Fourth one over. Yeah. So he looked basically like that as oh a junior in high school. My okay. God. And he has, he has this horrific thing that ha- he, he discovered his mother murdered. I know who Darnell Dockett is and, now. Now that you tell me that, okay. I know who Darnell Dockett. So is. I I knew who he was. Uh, I knew he's from Maryland, and I knew he was an FSU guy. And I followed him uh, throughout the, his NFL career. He's retired now. How scary is that helmet? And I followed. Yeah, I followed him. Followed him on Instagram and stuff. I was looking at this thing, dude. So he's considered to have the most savage high school highlights ever because he is this guy in high school, and he is he is bodying people and talking to them. Like as a sixteen year old. It's it's the cra if you look up <laughs> Darnell Dockett's high school it's it's in Maryland somewhere, but his high school highlight reel is unreal. I wanna see this. Can it's, we watch it? Yeah, we can watch it. Darnell Dockett high school reel. <laughs> look at, look, at, look him, at him. Look at him in high school, dude. Yeah. It that, Oh my god. You don't want no part of And that. those are old school pads too. Yeah. The pads that made you look yoked. Yeah. Do you don't think if I think I wanna say him on defense was enough for them to win the state championship. Oh, like one guy. We had a guy like that, Freddie Rosella. He was fucking yeah, monster. Yeah, hit that. Yeah. Why? Why can't you play that, dude? I want to nah, get one of those. Stu- it's a stupid ad. I want to get one oh. of those pit Popeyes chicken sandwiches today. Yeah, everyone keeps talking about. I got to try it. There's a Popeyes right next to my house. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. funny. You can't tell that anyone that doesn't live in California. If you bring up Popeyes, they're like, oh, "I'm not driving in that neighborhood." And you're like, "What? Jesus Christ!" Oh, here we go. Yeah. Look at him. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I mean, he's just throwing people, dude. Like, just. And then. Yeah, this guy's like, I wish Michael I had... Frisch. That's the guy who had to block him. He's like, it was a problem. <laughs> oh, look know. at him. Look I at him. Hands up in what, the air. I don't know what to do. And then see, like, no one in high school does that shit. You, re- you know, like gets over people. It's like. This look all... at. There's no stopping him. No, there's like four guys trying to. And then I also thought about my family. And then this is him talking about it was easy. Shit was easy for me. Look at he's got his hands. <laughs> yeah, dude. He's got I just learned how to run hands. Uh, and then I'm, and so I quit. I quit after today. I quit the game. You could probably play his audio, by the way. I don't think hey, so. You all right? Hey, see, he's talking. You all right? I like that. Hey, hey, hey. That's, hey, I bet I make this tackle. It was pretty funny. High school? It's high school, dude. I bet I make this tackle. 
I've seen guys in the pros that uh, were similar to him, but of course that's a pros. And, uh, Darnell is just a, a mountain of a man, and he's got a heart of, a heart of stone, and I'll tell you what, he loves to play physical football. Heart of stone? <laughs> heart of stone, that's not an act. <laughs> no, that... Yeah, I mean, dude, he's just he's, doing whatever he wants. He's got a brain like a truck. <laughs> Hard as stone. He's got black blood and coal <laughs> running through his veins. He, he's got the eyes of a great white. <laughs> yeah. God dang it. I want to, yeah. hey, when we do Sober October, whenever we figure out what it's going to be, do you think it would be safe if we did doctor approved steroids? Yeah, I mean, I'm going to go out on a limb here. And say that none of them give us approval? No, yeah, you can. But yeah. uh, do you think the doctor's going to be like, just do it? I know a doctor that would. That, that, but the, yeah, no, we can find a doctor. Uh, he's here on Fridays. You think he will sign off on that? Dr. Drew will definitely sign off on it. You want to call, call him? Let's, let's call, call him. him right now. All right, let's call him. We got to wrap this up. Doctor. I'm going to have Dr. Feelgood in here, Dr. Pepper. Let's call Dr. Drew. No yeah. joke on Dr. Pepper, guys? No laugh? By the way, Drew's just going to think that I'm a, I found my bottom. I'm sorry, I'm not a boy. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Okay. Oh, I think he's on radio right now. Oh. I'll just leave him a message. You may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey, Drew. It's Bert and Tom. I wanted to run an idea that Tom came up with by you. Um, we were thinking for this sober October, since we're not drinking and doing drugs, we were wondering if we could get on a couple cycles of steroids and would you prescribe them? Um, we're thinking Ad Advar, Adnavar is the one everyone keeps telling me, or Winstrol. Um, hit me up or just text me yes or no uh, or call Tom. All right, we love you. Thank you. Bye. All right. Thick Boy Nation rolls on. Um, Dude, I'm going to get so fucking yoked in October. I'm going to take my shirt off for my special in November and people, I, I, they're going to go, <gasps> carrot top? I want someone to isolate that moment of Bert saying that and then... <laughs> and then cut to cut me in to, October. Yeah. Still is... You got to admit, I do look skinnier, right? Then when? Then, then the last fuck, fucking four episodes. Yes. Uh, my face is a lot skinnier. Yeah, I haven't yeah. drank really this month. I love when you say I haven't drank really. Yeah. Because sometimes you'll go, I haven't drank at all. I'm like, really? And you're like, I'm fucked Wednesday and Tuesday. D two nights ago, but not, but yeah. But like my not drinking is like, astro it's, it would be a wheels off month for you. Yeah. But for me, I'm, I, we're going to a uh, crash up derby this weekend. Cool. So I'm going to drink there. Go ahead and also, uh, what's the email? Is it two what? bears, one cave, uh, the number two bears, the number one cave at gmail.com? Let us know who you think will die first. Let us know. <laughs> what age you see it happening at and thank you very much to everybody that submitted the super cuts and the theme songs we really appreciate your time and uh talent and that's it we'll be back soon all right all right cool. i love you love you bert and tom tom and bert one goes topless while the other wears a shirt tom tells stories and bert's the machine there's not a chance in hell that they'll keep it clean here's what we call two bears one cave no scripts, a bit of booze, amateur partology, dirty jokes, raunchy humor, no apologies. Here's what we call Two Bears, One Cave.